If you did not watch my previous video, please do watch it to learn how to install a bootable Android 12 GSI on your device. But there are some few serious bugs in the previous video. That is, we cannot access the internal storage of the device. It literally means we cannot do any stuff on the device, which kind of sucks. And Google Chrome doesn't work too. I don't know what's causing that issue, but today I'm going to show you how to fix both these issues. So let's start. This is Arrow and welcome to my channel. Before starting, as usual, we have some prerequisites. All the download links are given in the description below. Please do download all these files and keep them in the laptop or a PC. Today, I'm going to start again with the installation of the GSI, but this time I'm going to speed things up. If you don't know how to install a GSI image, please watch the previous video to learn in detail about the installation of a GSI image. After flashing GSI, reboot to recovery again. Then go to mount and mount your system. Then go to advanced and then to file manager and navigate to system underscore root. In this folder, search for system and open it and move to Apex. In this folder, find com.google.androidmediaprovider. Open this folder and click this button and select delete and swipe to delete. Now go back to TWRP, unmount the system. After that, copy the fixed zip that you have already downloaded from the given link from your laptop or PC to the internal storage of your device and then flash it. After flashing this fix, just simply reboot. As you can see, the fix is working perfectly fine. And now we can install Google Play services to finish the setup and install some other apps. Now onto the Chrome. We don't know what is particularly causing this issue, but in order to fix the Google Chrome, first download Split APK installer from the Google Play Store. And after that, download Chrome APK from third-party sites such as APK Mirror. Now install this APK with the help of Split APK installer. Usually we get a APK bundle, but not a single APK of the Chrome. So in order to install an APK bundle, we need Split APK installer. So first install the Split APK installer and then download the Chrome APK bundle and install it with the help of the Split APK installer. After that, Chrome works perfectly fine. You may get the doubt that how to download a Chrome APK bundle without the help of the Chrome. So the thing is, Every other browser is working perfectly fine except Chrome. So this fix is only for Chrome. You can download the Chrome APK bundle with the help of any other browser that you get on the Play Store. And one more unusual thing is that Chrome is not being listed in the Play Store. Even I searched for the Chrome in the Play Store, but I did, I'm unable to find it. So this is the only fix that is going to fix the issue. But still in the end, 
it is still the developer premium one but surprisingly google cam is working perfectly fine at least as far as my device is concerned so no need to worry as still this is a developer preview one there are many changes that are going to come and go there are many features that google is going to implement and then we will not see again those features in the final release so let's see how this android 12 development goes till the final release by the google but most important thing that is our credits go to developers and i had no contribution in developing this gsi or fix i'm just an end user bringing you this method that's it guys that's all for today if you find my video interesting give it a like subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell icon to get the latest notification updates thank you thank you for watching bye bye